I guess maybe what are some of the, the decisions that you made in terms of investment in organic channels? Like what worked, what didn't work? Like what lessons maybe would you have for other entrepreneurs that are early stage that, that have maybe more time than money and that want to build an organic, um, you know, channel to reach their customers or channels, um, but d don't necessarily know where to start. Like what would your advice be on how to do that and what they need to be thinking about? So one common mistake that I see with startup founders, um, like as I like mentor people, et cetera, is when you throw 30 things at the wall at once, you have no clue. You have no clue where to look at what's sticking. Mm -hmm. And so tactically get OKRs figured out in the forefront, like have a clear objective and a key result of a quantifiable key result of what you're trying to measure, mm -hmm. even from the early days. And then you take that key result and you say, what are three levers I am going to try to see if I can hit that key result? And you follow through on that. Because in the startup days, I see so many founders jump, shiny object, shiny object, shiny object. Mm -hmm. And then six months down the road, they're like, we have no clue where to invest dollars. We have no clue what was a positive ROI. And then yeah. the, you slowly are like, oh, okay, I'm just gravitating towards paid ads because that's the only thing that I have quantifiable results on. Yeah, yeah. Um, so for me, it's like focus and finish. It's like if you truly believe partnerships, which I have a whole thought on partnerships, but if you believe partnerships yeah. are the way you're going to grow, let's say brand awareness, like, what mm -hmm. does brand awareness mean to you? Is that PR impressions? Is that, you know, earned social impressions? Like, how do you quantify that your brand is growing? Yeah. And you believe partnerships is the way to do that. Okay. For this quarter, follow through on two partnerships mm -hmm. and then see if you hit the thing that you designated social impressions. Okay. Earn social impressions. Did partnering with that brand give you, get you to 1 million earned social impressions. Mm -hmm. And then you look back and say, no, that was not the tactic that got us to earn social impressions. Okay. Next lever influencers mm -hmm. is the ROI positive. Is it leading to, so like you have to be focused and see yeah. something through. Cause I just see people literally be a marketing pinball machine. Yeah. Was there, was, was there anything like, like if you were, um, Obviously, it depends on the nature of the product, um, what it is that you're trying to build. Um, are there any common themes in terms of things that you, it's, you, you said you have a whole thing about partnerships? It, it sounds sounds uh, not positive, but I'd be curious to hear that. Uh, <laughs> but like, are there are there are there common approaches that you think would work would work that have relatively broad applicability at a strategic level, not necessarily at a tactical level, or does it really just depend on the product? It depends on your superpower because PR, I think, is a huge lever when done well. Yeah. So we have this funny phrase, like you're going to make fun of me, but um, so we say everything should be an octopus and not a swordfish because, <laughs> so <laughs> let me like explain. Yeah. I wish I could say like, do PR or do this. But the sure. way we think about it is, because that would be a swordfish if you were thinking about it from like one lever, one one channel. Yeah. So like, let's take PR, for example, and make it an octopus. Mm -hmm. Okay. You get, and you get the like, holy grail of like, I tried your product for a week and here's what happened. Okay, great. You now have earned media. Are you on Rakuten so that they are getting affiliate commission and now it's affiliate revenue. So now you're hitting brand and sales. Mm. Then you get the licensing of that, of that content piece mm -hmm. and you run paid ads behind it. Now I'm a cannabis company, so I can't do any of that because there's yeah. so many barriers to cannabis marketing, but yeah. I'm just speaking from like a D to C product perspective. Yep. Now you've taken a swordfish and made it an octopus. Then you ask, then you become friends with that editor and you ask for them to like amplify it on social. And mm -hmm. you maybe do an in-person editorial event and you bring editors together and now you have social impressions. Yeah. Like you figure out how to grow the tentacles of the octopus.